In the world we live in today, the richest 1% of the population controls 48% of the total wealth. And the top 80 richest individuals are worth as much as half the world's population, or roughly 3.5 billion people. When considering these figures, there is no doubting the fact that there is a separation between the rich and the poor. While many people assume these wealthy individuals gained their wealth by being born into wealth or winning the lottery, that simply isn't true. In fact, only 11 out of the 80 richest individuals were passed down their fortunes, with the other 69 having made their wealth through their own hard work and determination. And one of these 69 individuals is none other than the investor mogul himself, Warren Buffett. Like the majority of these rich individuals, Warren Buffett grew up in a middle-class family but found a way to amass the knowledge and skills that would eventually lead him to accumulating a wealth of over $70 billion. Undoubtedly, we have all seen people living in excess and others living with next to nothing, but have you ever taken a second to think about what truly separates the rich from the poor? Sure, the obvious answer is that the rich have significantly more money than the poor, but I'm talking about the reasons beyond the dollars and cents. When you think about it, a rich and a poor person can live in the same city, have access to the same jobs, and both only have 24 hours in the day, yet one can be living paycheck to paycheck, while the other can have more money than they could spend in an entire lifetime. So, what truly makes the difference between someone who will amass billions of dollars in their lifetime and someone who will struggle financially forever? Well, using our rich friend John and our poor friend Tim to explain, we will outline exactly what separates the rich from the poor so you can adopt these rich person habits and realize financial prosperity in your own life. Before we get going, you should know that both John and Tim have similar IQs come from middle-class families and live in the same city. In short, neither man has any advantage over the other. However, their bank accounts are at total opposite ends of the money spectrum. Difference number one between the rich and the poor is that the rich never stop learning. That's right. Even after school, I make it a point to read books, attend seminars, and always look for ways to improve myself. I guess I never really thought about learning beyond what I needed for my job. Maybe that's where I've been going wrong. Continuous learning is key. It's not just about formal education, but also about staying curious and always seeking knowledge. Difference number two is the rich sell value and the poor sell time. It's a, a fundamental shift in perspective that greatly influences success and wealth accumulation. Difference number three is the rich pay themselves first, while the poor pay themselves last. This principle is, you know, crucial for building and maintaining financial independence. Difference number four is that the rich have a growth mindset while the poor have a fixed mindset. Embracing a growth mindset uh, allows for continuous learning and improvement, which is essential for long-term success. Difference number five is that the rich understand the power of delaying gratification, whereas the poor seek short-term pleasure. Yeah, I can see that. It's tough, but it makes sense. Absolutely, Tim. Delaying gratification can lead to greater rewards in the long run. Difference number six is that the rich build several streams of income while the poor rely on only one. Difference number seven is that the rich surround themselves with other rich people, whereas the poor surround themselves with other broke individuals. To summarize, the differences that separate the rich from the poor is that the rich never stop learning, they sell value, not time, they pay themselves first, they have a growth mindset, not a fixed mindset, they harness the power of delaying gratification, they build multiple streams of income, and finally, they surround themselves with other rich individuals. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and I will see you in the next one.